Hello everyone, welcome to the GDeveloper tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a countdown timer in GDevelop 5. So this tutorial was made of someone's request in my previous tutorial. That means you can also make your tutorial request by placing it in the comments below. So first of all, I will open the scene I've currently worked on to show you what we will be doing. So I will run that. In this tutorial, I will be showing two ways of actually creating a countdown timer. So I'm um, here. As you can see it changes 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, minimize and I will open a project. Okay, create a new project platformer. Okay, so in this tutorial I will be using um I will start my countdown timer from 10, but later along the line I will show you how to actually change that to take it to higher numbers so first of all let's add an object text let's name that um text one text we can set that to 10 it doesn't actually matter for now so size 50 bold and apply put that into the scene um okay sorry okay that's still good now layer gui let's go to our new scene events let's go to our events Let's add a new group. I just renamed that um countdown one. Put that to the top. Add a sub condition. Add condition. Beginning of the scene. At the beginning of the scene, we need to reset the timer. A scene timer. Um, reset a scene timer. Here's this timer count down okay and add an action let's create a scene variable scene variable value of scene variable um timer number modification sign set now this is the uh, um number you want now you fill in the number you actually want your countdown timer to start from if you want a 60 you fill it here so we are, it will start from 60 and come all the way downwards but i want 10 for the sake of this tutorial, we will be using 10, so, okay. Now let's add an empty event. Okay, before we do that, just, okay, I'll just delete that. Right click on this, add other, um, repeat. So choose how many times this will be repeated. We want that once. The timer, let's create, um, timer, scene timer. Value of scene timer, time in seconds, one, timer name, um countdown countdown okay now add a condition an action scene variable value of scene variable um timer number timer number modification sign we need it to subtract um one from it so subtract on one okay and we need it to also reset the timer when it's subtracted, so it will reset it. Reset the timer countdown. And let's add an empty event. Add a condition. Scene variable. Value of scene variable. Um, timer. Number. Sign of test equal to value to compare zero. So when it's set to zero, you can add an action. So it'll reset the scene here. So this is where you actually add your action. Um, depending on what you want, so add an empty event. Now let's add an action. Um, modify. Let's modify um the text. That's text one. Modification sign. Um, set to text. Let's create a string. So two string. Um, two string. Let's open the brackets now. Variable variable um open the brackets timer now we fill in your variable that's timer number close it the bracket and close it sorry close it and close okay now let's run that so we're done with our first um countdown so here it is nine eight seven six five four three two one okay now 
we will um I will show you how to create the second one now. I would advise um for new users of Gdevelop, I would advise you to use a second um process because it's easier. So um let's name that text two text two um text ten. Now this actually matters. You need to set the number of um the text you want here. So um size okay I'll just set that's a fifty bold that's okay put that into the scene I will also place that beside this so I can actually see this is text one and this is text two there so that's a GY new scene events let's create a new group we'll put that out um countdown two add a sub condition now beginning of the scene At the beginning of the scene, um, let add, let's add an action timer. Timer. So we needed to um reset the timer at the beginning of the scene. So reset the timer. Count down two. Count down two. So we reset that at the beginning of the scene. Now let's add an empty event. Add a condition. Timer, scene timer, value of scene timer, time in seconds, one, timer's name, um, count down, count down, um, two, sorry. Okay, so now the timer countdown is greater than one second. Add um an action, modify, modify the text, text to um. Text so we'll set this to nine. So you're feeling nine here. Modification sign um set to okay. So this is um a much um, longer process, but if you want to actually understand this, I would recommend you use the countdown to so copy that, paste that below. So countdown is greater than two seconds. Do eight when it's greater than two seconds, changes it to eight. Let's do that again. Paste. When it's greater than three seconds, it changes that to seven. Let's paste that again. When it's greater than four seconds, it changes that to six. So when it's greater than um five seconds. It changes that to seven. So um, if you have no time to do this, I would recommend you use the one above, because that's much more easier than this. So six. Um, when it's six seconds, it changes that. Oh, sorry, five seconds, changes that to five. And six seconds, it changes this to um four. Paste that again. So when it's six and seven seconds, it changes that to three. Um, paste that again. Seven. When it's eight seconds, it changes that to two. And when it's nine seconds. Nine, it changes that to one. One. So now we're done with our second process. So run that. Okay, here we we'll let um both timers run. So as you can see, it both changes our text to and text one. So um, you just choose whichever process you want. So that's it.